Hello lovelies and welcome back Dollhouse Sweets. I am Kira, your yarn host. Thank you for being here. Um, quick thought, when I started to get back into crochet, I thought the best way to get my hands on some yarn would be de-stashers on eBay. So I went on eBay. I went a little crazy. And before you have a chance to do that, if you're just starting out, let me just give you a couple tips on starting your yarn hoard. First tip, read. If you're buying from eBay or any place that is not a big box seller manufacturer, read. You have to read how much yarn is in a skein. You have to read. Um, make sure you know how many skeins you're looking for, how many yards you're going to need approximately if you're going to do a pattern. And realize that a skein means different things. A skein is a bundle of yarn. This is a skein. This is much bigger, but this is also a skein. This one's bigger still, and it is also a skein. And when you don't read, sometimes you think you have to buy more skeins than you will ever need in your life. Also, if you're buying from a home seller, make sure you read if they have pets or no pets, and if it's a smoking or non-smoking environment. I have been burned on this. I cannot tell you how long it took me to get the smoke smell out of eight Karen cakes of yarn that just smelled like somebody chain smoked for 10 years next to them. Oh my goodness. As a non-smoker, that is something I can't deal with. I am an ex-smoker and I have that whole Wolverine nose that comes back when you stop smoking. So, yeah, I can't deal with the yarn that comes from a smoking household. So make sure you read that. I have cats. I tell everybody I have cats because I also have allergies. Thankfully, I'm not allergic to cats. My cats are good. And my mushes. And I love them, but I'm not allergic to them. I do have other allergies. So I'm very aware of when I send products out to people, I tell people, there is cat hair. I have cats. There is cat hair on every fiber in my house. And when I send things out to people I know are allergic, I send made products out in a Ziploc bag with all the paperwork separate so they can just dump it into a washing machine. I don't have dogs. And if you buy yarn from someone that has dogs, you're probably going to get dog hair. I have cats. There is no way I can guarantee anyone at any time, I can send you a product free of cat hair because there's cat hair in my washer, in my dryer, in the, there is just, it, it just is. And no amount of cleaning fixes that. It just, they're, they're cats, they shed. There's cat hair, there's whiskers. So, make sure you check the listing and see if they're smoking environment and if there's pets in the environment, if you have allergies or if one of those things bothers you. Also, when buying lots of yarn, a lot of people eBay things as, you know, just this big box of yarn that's been sitting in somebody's basement or sitting in somebody's attic. Take in mind the age or the possible age of the yarn. Budget yarn has come a very long way. Um, my basic standard for how budget yarn is, is Red Heart Super Saver. Red Heart Super Saver 
made in 2023 is so much softer than Red Heart Super Saver made in the 80s or the 90s. And occasionally when you get these large bundles of yarn, a lot of what people are selling is stuff they don't want to use. So you have to be careful because I have ordered things from eBay. I have ordered lots from eBay. I have ordered things that were called yarn that are actually not yarn. They've been made of paper or they've been made of plastic. I have ordered lots of various branded yarns and I have gotten so many kinds of novelty yarns, eyelash yarns. I got yarns that look like a ladder that I don't even know what to do with. A lot of those things, if that's your thing, good. If you use those, cool. I can't use those. Those are just, that's beyond my wheelhouse. And I have gotten boxes all I can describe them as is 70s retro scratchy yarn. And if you're my age, you understand what 70s yarn felt like. You could scrub a pot with 70s yarn. If that's what you're into and that's what you like, that's cool. You do you. I can't do that. And I did not realize how much yarn has changed. When I started doing this last year, I did not realize how much yarn has changed. And yarn is so much softer now. This one's not bad. This is nice. Sweet Rolls from Premier are a nice budget-friendly yarn. They're not a super budget yarn, but they are a budget friendly yarn. Then you have <laughs> Karen Anniversary Cakes that are marshmallowy and squishy and monstrously huge. This is a thousand grams of yarn. It's a thousand sixty one feet. me in my not reading sizes clouded haze ordered three balls of this because generally a wrap or a shawl or something three balls generally you can take pretty far depending on what stitch you're using I got three of these I don't know what I'm making Somebody's getting a big-ass blanket, I guess. I don't know. Learn from my mistakes. Know how big the yards are. Make sure that you know 600 yards is not the same. It's 245 yards. This is a cake. This is a cake. This is a scheme. This is a scheme. They're the same thing if you don't read the numbers. I did not read numbers for a couple months. I have a lot of weird yarn. A lot of the weird yarn I donate to Comfort for Critters. Um, they're a charity that you send the items directly to your nearest shelter with a little little printout from Comfort Critter saying, you know, these are for the animals in the shelter and this is for their forever home. So when they get adopted, they can take this little blanket with them so they have something familiar when they're in a new environment and that will help them adjust. So a lot of the 70s scratchy weird yarn that I know how to work with, that I know will be safe for animals, because some of the latter yarn has like filament and fishing line and metallic things and 
I, I don't trust animals with things like that because I know my cats are like toddlers. Everything goes in their mouth. They chew on everything. And if it's crinkly, that's even all the better. So I try to use the 70s scratchy yarns and I make dog blankets, cat blankets. And I do one for every sale I do or if I have scrap yarn left over and it's starting to build up, I'll make some blankets, throw them in a box and send them out like three dozen at a time. So 70s scratchy yarn, I'm not reselling because ick. Learn from my mistakes. Know your difference in fibers and know your country of origin because 100% cotton yarn from Turkey is not the same as 100% cotton yarn from China where things are called like milk cotton but they're not really cotton or milk so I'm not sure why they're called milk cotton but they're not cotton but a lot of foreign websites, um, things like Alibaba or Temu or a lot of those, it seems that they call all of their yarn wool, whether it's wool or not. So you could have cotton wool. Okay, that must be what they use for the word yarn. Took me a while to figure that out. I have skeins that I have bought from Temu that I've, and they're soft and they're nice, but they either don't say anything, so then it's blank, so then you have no idea. The label is just, or it's written in a language I can't read. So I don't know what it is. I can't sell that. So those go into the dog blankets. As long as they don't make me itchy, if they if they react to my skin, they go in the trash or they go in a donate box. But if I can't deal with it, I don't want anybody else to have to deal with it. You know, it, it's just one of those things. So this video isn't long. I just figured thought came to mind, and I might be able to spare you a little bit of the heartbreak of being all excited because you got a big box of yarn and then you open it and please learn from my mistakes read the yardage on the yarn read the grams and know basically in your head regular scheme regular cake size scheme is about 300 yards. Anything bigger than that is big. Regular. Let's see. Right. No, this is 355 yards. This is I love this yarn from Hobby Hobby. But your basic skein of yarn is 300 something yards. What most of us think of as the average skein size. Keep that number in mind. I did not have that number in mind, and I just went, ooh, that's a pretty color. Don't do that. Learn from my mistakes. If I helped one of you and saved one of you the agony of this yarn is beautiful, but how do I get the smell out? Tip for you. Trash bag. Two dryer sheets per skein. You can either put the dryer sheets in the trash bag. I like to put ones loose in the trash bag and I like to stuff the dryer sheet in the middle and then tie it closed. And you're going to have to leave it for a while. For smaller bits of yarn for finished projects, baking soda and water will take the smell out of pretty much anything. But it's really hard to baking soda a skein of yarn. So, dryer sheets and a trash bag. As for getting animal hair out of a skein of yarn, can't help you. 
There's animal hair in every project I make. Most often I just say, extra for compliments of Argyle, she sends her love. Because she's the one that gets all over my yarn. Learn from me. I'm here to help. Or try to. I know. I would lose my head if it wasn't attached. The Benictine. Keeps me from being all stabby murdery. Okay, that is it. That is it for today. I know I promised you guys my big blanket for the next video, but I haven't got my other big blanket in that I need for the trim. So we haven't started that yet. That's not coming yet, but we're getting there. I just figured I'd share my be careful buying secondhand yarn. Um, a lot of times you can find very good deals. A lot of times it's just not worth the hassle that comes with it. Until next time, like, subscribe. Once I get to 100 subscribers, we'll do the giveaway that I mentioned in, like, I don't know, my second or third video that's, like, way down there. My quality's getting better, hopefully. I'm, I'm, I'm learning this whole YouTube-y thing, and I'm too old to learn this, but I'm doing it anyway. Because... What else am I going to do? I'm kind of stuck in these four walls most of the time. So, you guys get stuck with me. You're welcome. But, yeah. I'd appreciate if you could like, subscribe, maybe share. I'll try to bring more tips as I think of them. But, definitely, watch your yardage. And watch how old the yarn is. Look for smoking. Look for pets. If those concern you. Know what you're buying. Thanks. Till next time. Be good. And be kind. <laughs>